In this lecture, we discuss how to construct analog to digital converters. I'll present some complicated circuits. Make sure you understand the broad picture view of how these circuits worked. Understanding the exact implementation is less important. An analog to digital converter is composed of two parts, a digital switch and a quantizer. The switch can be implemented as follows. The switch is normally created with a transistor controlled by a clock with period T. When the transistor transmits the signal's voltage at time T, the op-amp and capacitor will be a voltage follower that holds the output voltage at a constant value until the switch triggers another sample. This circuit is called a sample and hold and produces the X sub S when given X sub A. Once we have X sub S, we need to encode the voltages into binary numbers. We accomplish this encoding by using comparator circuits. A comparator circuit outputs a 1 only when the out input X sub 1's voltage is greater to or equal to a reference voltage X sub 2. We can make two different types of A to D circuits with our comparators. The first circuit quantizes the input iteratively. The circuit uses a comparator, an up-down counter, a D to A converter, and a clock. The up-down counter maintains our current approximation of the input voltage. We compare this approximation with the input voltage by converting the approximation back into a voltage using the D to A converter. If the input voltage is greater than the approximated voltage, then we increment our approximation. Otherwise, we decrement the approximation. This circuit will slowly approach the best binary encoding for X of S. The second type of A to D circuit uses many comparators along with some follow-up combinational logic. The number of comparators we need for this circuit will scale with the number of bits for our system. Here we have two bits of information and hence four numbers. Therefore we need three comparators to separate the voltage into four equally spaced voltage limits. For example, here it's zero to a quarter volt, a quarter to a half a volt, and so on. After, we've, after our comparators have completed their circuit analysis, we then use simple combination logic to map or encode our voltage into a binary number. Here, the binary encoding zero, zero would correspond to zero to a quarter volt. 